A settlement deal and a promise that more lawsuits are on the way. That was the official announcement today from the lawyer who represents the victims' families of the Robb Elementary School shooting in Uvalde. Our Ken Molestina is live in Uvalde. He spoke with family members as this announcement comes just days before the two-year anniversary of the massacre. Ken. Yeah, Doug and Karen, we are uh, standing just a couple feet away from the temporary memorial that has been sitting here for about two years now. You get the sense of the emotion involved in the announcement today and also this week as we approach that two year anniversary. This uh, settlement that we're going to tell you guys about, this is aiming to provide these families, 19 families, a sense of financial maybe closure uh, and even some emotional help for so many of them. So, this settlement here, let's talk about this here because it includes a total $2 million. Dollar payout from the city to be divided between 19 families who were affected by the tragedy. Now, additionally, there will be more training that are that will be offered to the police officers and to the entire police department. There will also be an annual day of remembrance on May 24th, and the city will fund a permanent memorial in the plaza where we are standing right now here in Uvalde. Families I spoke with say this is not about money, but rather about holding entities accountable following the DOJ's investigation that found that the response to the shooting was. Was a catastrophic failure at all points. Javier Casares, the father of Jacqueline, explained how they came to that two million dollar number, which many, by the way, are criticizing as being too low, and some have even called it a slap in the face to the grieving families. From my understanding, that's your insurance policy knows it. Right? I mean, that, that's what I mean, that's exactly what they said. Money's never been the issue. I mean, my thing is accountability and justice, and that's all I want for my daughter. I mean, there's no amount of money that can bring her back, but. Um, that, that's my main concern. And again, uh, just speaking to these families, you get, you get the sense of just how emotionally driven uh, the announcement was earlier today. I can tell you the other important points that were made during that news conference is that the families will continue their lawsuits. Next up, they say they are going to be suing almost 100 individual DPS troopers for their failed response as well. They will be uh, launching lawsuits against the school district out here in Uvalde, as well as federal law enforcement agencies, Doug and Karen. So, Ken, what do they hope to accomplish with these extra lawsuits? Well, you know, everyone you speak to out here, uh, when you get down to it, the families all say this is all about accountability. They say, uh, following that DOJ report, they have a long list of people uh, who they want to sue, and so they're 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 going down the list. It started with Uvalde. Uh, we're also uh, hearing that there are talks with the county of Uvalde uh, to also uh, reach some kind of a settlement with them. Uh, but again, next up, uh, we heard they're going to go after 92 of those DPS uh, troopers, and again, they just want accountability. They want to make sure that everyone who had responsibility, who failed at their responsibility that day, uh, is held accountable and has uh, an opportunity, uh, and that the families have an opportunity to hold them accountable personally. But again, a very emotional day here. We are only just a couple of days away from the two-year anniversary, uh, and, and this big announcement here today is, is, is sort of re-energizing the fight, as they say here in Uvalde, uh, to keep the memory of all of those kids still alive. Doug, Karen.